There are three different ways you can add images to your Adobe Muse website. You can simply drag and drop an image into Adobe Muse. You can use the rectangle tool to place the image within a rectangle, or you can simply copy and paste directly from Adobe Illustrator. So I'll show you the first way, which is dragging and dropping an image. So I'll go to my finder window, and then I have an image of a lion here. So I'll click hold and drag the image into Adobe Muse, and then I'll let go. And now the image is on my cursor. So I can place this image anywhere I'd like. And you can see we have kind of a 90 degree angle in the left hand corner of the cursor. And that is where the left corner of the image will be placed so that you, know, you can place your image anywhere you'd like in Adobe Muse. So now we have the image in there and we can rotate the image like so. If we grab any corner, we can rotate the image. If you hold down shift, you get perfect angles, 90 degrees and 45 degree angles, or you can just rotate it any way you'd like. And then we can also resize the image. We can grab any corner and just resize the image. And it gives you a percentage symbol uh, to show you how big or small you're making the image. Or we can use the crop tool over here to the left hand corner, click in the center of the image and manually resize the image. And you can constrain the proportions so it stays in the right proportion by clicking this kind of link button here in the middle. And then we can grab the image frame and resize that as well to match the image size. All right, so there's the image and we can place it anywhere we'd like in Adobe Muse. Okay, so that's the first way of adding an image. The second way is using the rectangle tool. So I'll select the rectangle tool over here to the left and I'll just draw a rectangle like so. Very good. And then I'll click on the rectangle, it's selected. And now I'll go to fill, add image, and I'll select again that image of the lion. Now we can see that the image doesn't fit perfectly within the rectangle, and we can change that by changing the fitting and the position of the image within the rectangle. So I'll change the fitting of the image and I'll say scale to fill, or excuse me, I'll say scale to fit so it fits within the rectangle. Scale to fill just means it's gonna fill the entire rectangle, but we want it to fit inside the rectangle. And then we can position it to the middle, to the right, upper right, upper left, uh, lower left, lower right, uh, down middle, down up, or position it perfectly in the center. We can also give the rectangle a fill so that the image now is on top of a fill color. And we can set the opacity of the fill and of the image in the rectangle. Very good. And we can do gradients to the rectangle, but that makes it so the image isn't visible. Okay, so we did that. And we can also scale, uh, scale original size. We can do tile, tile horizontally, and tile vertically for, for the fitting. So I'm gonna do scale to fit, and I'm gonna take off the background color, the fill color on the rectangle. Okay, very good. And the last way to add an image is to just simply copy and paste from Adobe Illustrator. So I'm gonna open up a an Illustrator file and I'm gonna select this coffee, this coffee cup vector uh, graphic. So I'm just gonna click on it, I'm gonna ungroup and I'll select this coffee cup here and I'll just simply hit Command C on my Mac or Control C if you're on Windows. And then I'll go into Adobe Muse back in here and I'll hit Command V to paste. And now this image is a scalable vector graphic in Adobe Muse or an SVG. And that means that you can scale the image to as large or as small as you'd like and it'll retain the image quality because it's code uh, scalable vector graphics is an XML file which is code within a website and it retains the exact uh, image quality and proportions so um, or the exact image quality so it doesn't matter how small or how large you make the image because it's code it will not lose any quality which is great okay so um, that's pretty much it for adding images to your Adobe Muse website the three different ways and you can use .png files, .jpeg files, .svg files and .gif files, .gif files. All right, thanks again for watching and in the next video tutorial I'll show you the advantages of each of these three different methods and how they can benefit uh, your Adobe Muse website when working with these three different methods of adding images.
Thank you.